guitar players, I'm Gene, welcome to uh, Tribe Music Studio and another uh, one of my guitar lessons. I'm so glad you're here. Uh, this is an old gospel tune, uh, kind of bluegrass-ish. Uh, it's called Will the Circle Be Unbroken? Um, it's in the key of D. And uh, let's, let's get started, so we'll do a close-up. Okay, so the chords here uh, are in this song are D, G, and A7, which I'm playing like so. This fingers barring string number two, three, and four, and I'm putting my third finger uh, on the first string, the third fret, relative to the capo, because I'm using the capo for this song. Uh, K point at the fourth fret, uh, and so beings on K point at the fourth fret and playing in the key of D, I'm really playing in the key of F sharp. So I'm really playing an F sharp when I do the D shape, and the B when I'm playing G shape, and the C sharp when I'm playing, or a C sharp seven when I'm playing the A seven shape. But we'll just pretend we're in the key of D, playing D, G, and A7. You can even do a straight A. Uh, if you don't like the A7, just play an A. In fact, you can play the regular old, plain old A7 like this, uh, if you wish. It's all up to you. Whichever one works the best, whichever one you like the best, that's the one you do. And you're, you're good. You'll be fine. Uh, now, the rhythm... Uh, excuse me. I, I, you don't need the capo either. You can just take the capo off and play down at the bottom, at the neck down here. The just regular, just so. I just like singing it better. Uh, capo at the fourth fret. Maybe you'll like better at the second fret. Excellent. Maybe you want the third fret though. Okay. Uh, it's all up to you when you do it where you like it, where it sounds best and is, and is most comfortable, works the best for you. So, Now, the rhythm that I like to do with this, and that I do when I play it, is I hit a bass note, so for the D chord, it's going to be the fourth string, and if we're playing open, it'll be the fourth string open. So, I hit a bass note, and then I go down, up, down, up, down, up. And that's the rhythm the whole way through. It's a bass note. And down, up, down, up, down, up. If you want to put a count to that, we can say it's one, two, and three, and four, and the whole way through. One, two, and three, and four, and one, two, and three, and four, and bass note. Down, up, down, up, down, up. Bass note. Down, up, down, up, down, up. Uh, for the G chord, it's going to be, of course, the 6th string here at the 3rd fret, again, rel relative to the capo. Space note, down, up, down, up, down, up. And for the A7, it's going to be the 5th string, which will be open, again, relative to the capo. And it's bass note, down, up, down, up, down, up. <coughs> so, uh, the chord progression is going to go from a D to a G, back to a D, and to an A7, and to a D again. You might want to write that down. And it's going to, that, that's the whole chord progression for the whole tune. And it's for the verses and for the chorus. So it's all the same. And we'll start with four, uh, we'll call measures of of the D, it'll go to two measures of G, eight measures of the D again, one of the A7, or A if you wish, and one of D. Uh, and what I'm uh, calling or counting uh, as a measure is when I go, bass note down, up, down, up, down, up. Uh, counting one, two, and three, and four, and that's one measure. 
So that first measure of D will be doing that four times. That's why I said there's four measures of D. And when I go to the next chord, G, it's two measures. So it's counting the bass note down, up, down, up, down, up, twice. You then go back to D again, it's eight times and you're going to do that, counting to four. Then to A7 for one, and again back to D for one. Counting to four, then it starts all over. So a quick example here is I was standing, that was one, by my, that was two, window, there's three, that's four, on a, we go to G, cold, and cloudy, that was twice, I'm doing that, we go to D for day, Mother was one time to D for one way, way. And stars will the circle, etc. All that all over again. I hope I got those counts right. I think I missed one, but <laughs> but I hope I got them correct. I said them right to you. I explained them right. I just might have missed that count there briefly. Um, all right, it's a good old tune, but this mine has been around forever. Uh, let's back out. Yeah, anyway, this is a, a great old song. It's been around forever. Lots of people know it and like it. Uh, you know, and I like doing variety. And some rock stuff, some uh, blues stuff, some pop, and, and even this, this type of uh, gospel type or bluegrass type stuff, uh, as well as other things besides all you know like some of the children's song I'm doing that because there's people out there would like to know some children's songs so um, this is great jamming with another person and then picking some kind of some kind of lead to it uh, harmonica goes great with this maybe one of these days I'll do one with a harmonica same same tune just with harmonica to give you an example of that uh, okay hey thanks bye